Hey, it's Savannah, and today I thought I would talk a little bit about things that I wish I knew in high school. So I hope that if you yourself are a high school student, you might learn a little bit from my mistakes and experiences. My first tip is to spread out your courses more throughout high school. So when I was in grade 10 and 11, I filled up my schedule, I like packed my schedule and I took summer school, I took courses online because I just wanted to like have an easy grade 12 year but you shouldn't do that because it's better to like, especially with math and physics courses if you're thinking about going into science or engineering, um, you need to have those concepts like fresh in your memory when you enter university. Um, I had like kind of a rough first semester because I, I forgot all of my basics. Um, so I would recommend making sure that you take that you spread your courses more evenly throughout your years of high school. <laughs> the second thing that I wish I knew in high school was to get help immediately. Um, what I mean is if you are struggling with anything um, with like, academics or just life problems, uh, make sure that you know what resources you have and you use them um, to the best of your advantage because the great thing I learned about UBC is that there are resources for literally anything if you're struggling with mental or physical health, uh, finances, job searching, there are literally resources that are available to students for free. Um, so. Um, it's best to learn how to use what you have as soon as possible because when you don't get help and you let things fester, the next time you hit a tough spot, um, you'll be even more hesitant to reach out and like ask someone to, gu to give you guidance. Um, so it creates a bad habit and it's better to learn how to reach out as soon as you need to. The third thing that I wish I knew in high school is to not overcommit myself. Um, in high school it's a lot easier because you don't get as much homework, you have more free time, um, and it's easier to just like do a whole bunch of ec extracurriculars, but in university um, you really need to focus on your academics a lot and you need to put a lot of time and energy into every single course. So since you will definitely have to spend more time prioritizing school, make sure that any extracurriculars you choose um, are reasonable and they fit within your schedule and you can dedicate enough time and energy into them while still enjoying yourself. The fourth thing that I wish I knew in high school is that your grades don't define you. Um, Especially transitioning from high school to university, most people experience a significant grade drop um, since high school grades are so inflated, but I learned now that it's more important to learn, understand, and retain information than it is to get 100% on a test. Especially because in a testing scenario, like it's so easy to make mistakes. The fifth thing that I wish I knew in high school is that everyone struggles. Everyone has different strengths and weaknesses and you don't have to feel alone all the time. That goes back to one of my earlier points, but you don't have to feel alone all the time if you surround yourself with people that lift you up. Um, and you in turn have the ability to help others. Which that I realized even though lots of people appear to be thriving, um, you never know what kind of things they're facing. Especially in university when lots of students are stepping into adulthood for the first time, it comes with a lot of added responsibility and pressure and stress. It's so important to be empathetic and to be there for your friends when they need help as well. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you would like to see more, don't forget to subscribe to the Engineering Stories channel. Bye!